Bridge series. Wow. Oracle Park, San Francisco, California. If we ever make it there in this traffic. What is the Bay Bridge series for people who may not know? Bay Bridge series is a baseball series played between the San Francisco Giants and the Oakland A's of Major League Baseball. Oh, baseball. It is unique in that the Giants are a National League team and the A's are an American League team. So the two teams do not get a chance to play each other very often. Pirates. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. They are doing pretty well. Yeah. Are the Cubs central or east? I feel like they're central. Okay, so Pirates, Phillies, Mets, oh, yeah, Phillies. Nationals, and... There's a fifth. The last team? Oh, Braves? Oh, yeah, Braves. Wait. Atlanta? Marlins? Oh, yeah, wait. Because <laughs> it's just east, central, and west, right? Yeah, there's right? five teams in each. Wait, who's... Maybe Braves are central then. No, no, Braves are definitely east. And they're, yeah, okay, yeah. Braves are definitely east and they're in first. And Marlins and are. And Marlins, that doesn't make sense though. Pirates? Pirates might be, it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, Pirates, <laughs> Pirates might be central. central. That's funny. Okay. I think. Okay. I saw the Barbie movie. Really? Yeah. Who did you see it with again? I went alone. Nice. <clears throat> would you recommend it for me? I don't think it would bore you, but I also don't think... I think you'd find it interesting. <laughs> but I'm not sure you'd be, like, captivated by it. That seems like an accurate assessment. <laughs> Brown on first. Man, that looks close and it gets left field. Oh, oh, There's Shea catching. Announcers.
the score. It is one to one. Eighth inning, bottom of the eighth. Yes. How are you doing, Allison? Great, your time here. Um, a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. between Oakland and San Francisco ever. Mark Stauffer has been a fan since the team moved to Oakland. They've already made legislative moves in Nevada. Why bother at this point? They have to tear down a huge building. They have to get the owners to actually agree to sell, which is 75%. And I think after things like this, that might not happen. Major developments from the Oakland A's tonight. Hello again. I'm Christina Rendon. And I'm Mike Meback. The team confirming with KTVU tonight that it has reached a binding purchase agreement for land in Las Vegas where a new ballpark would be built. In right the sports world this morning and it hits Oakland hard. The Oakland A's inked a deal to buy an apparent 49-acre site. Plans to build a new ballpark near the Las Vegas Strip. So A's fans, listen up. The team plans to pack up and move out to Sin City by 2027. It is just another dagger to the heart of loyal A's fans here in the Bay Area. Many of them plan to pack the Coliseum tonight for a reverse boycott. The Oakland 68s, a nonprofit made up of diehard A's fans, is holding a reverse boycott at the next home game Tuesday night. When the A's... <laughs> That's the answer um, because you know how much it means to, to the community to have something to look forward to. You know, I mean, it, it was great. Uh, I, it's great to see what is this year, you know, 
almost an average Major League Baseball crowd in the facility for one night. That's a great thing. Um, the ballpark's not in good shape. I think the ballpark's not a major league facility. I've said it repeatedly. What is it that Oakland was prepared to do? That there is no Oakland offer. Okay, I mean they, they never got to the point where they had a plan to build a stadium at any site. Uh, what and do you say to the MLB commissioner about those words that Oakland hadn't done the work to keep the A's rooted in the town? You know, I know we're live on air, and so I'll just say it's totally false. There was a very concrete proposal under discussion, and Oakland had gone above and beyond to clear every single hurdle that the uh, ownership put in front of us. Um, the reality in this is that the A's ownership had insisted on a multi-billion dollar, 55-acre project that included a ballpark, residential, commercial, and retail. Whereas in Las Vegas, for whatever reason, they seem to be satisfied with only nine-acre lease ballpark on lease land. If they had a proposed a similar project uh, in Oakland um, as what they have proposed in Las Vegas, I can guarantee you that Oakland would have already, the construction would have already began. They don't have a deal yet in Vegas. Even though they have some public financing, they don't have a deal, which is why there was no vote to relocate. But there's, it seems like there's so much damage being done in Oakland. Would it be hard to repair that relationship with the team and the public? Anytime you get a new building built, there is damage. And the minute it's built, the damage is over. And then you get to go ahead and run your team. I think David Sampson is joining us. He's the host of Nothing Personal. And he executed the same thing that the A's are trying to do now. Well, a little bit different. You actually wanted to stay in Florida. There's been back and forth between Oakland and Oakland A's ownership for a decade back and forth conversations. And the Howard Terminal deal was actually pretty close. The actual deal there is a deal that can still be done. And if you ask Rob Manford, like people did in 2015, go back and look, 16, 17, 18, he said the same thing. It's better for baseball if the A's stay in Oakland. But the bill that passed, the money that's available, that can be used for any franchise, mm. not necessarily for the A's. Wait, so you think that ultimately when this is said and done, all those A's fans that are out there holding signs, doing the reverse boycott, all of the turmoil they're being put through right now, they're eventually going to get their stadium, and this is all leverage for an expansion team in Las Vegas. I just want to make sure I'm hearing you right. No, you're hearing me right. I'm saying that that would be a play out of my playbook <laughs> okay. to get to yeah. that point. And I still believe that can happen. Okay. But in order for it to happen, there has to be no more rhetoric, no more PR, no more get in front of a microphone and saying what Rob is saying or what the mayor is saying. Someone's got to pick up the phone and make the first move in order to see if they can get a deal together in Oakland. With and a relocation committee forming and a vote potentially looming, Mayor Tao had had enough. On Sunday, she boarded a plane to Seattle where Major League Baseball was holding their annual All-Star festivities. She brought the receipts. For an hour, the mayor and her staff briefed Commissioner Manford and Deputy Commissioner Dan Hallam, and by all accounts from people in the room, the meeting went very well. After Mayor Tao was elected, MLB Commissioner Rob Manford said he was going to call her. He didn't. The Oakland A's ownership group specifically asked Mayor Tao not to speak directly to the commissioner, so there was a major disconnect. It was very important for me to, before somebody took a, con a very consequential vote, that the commissioner and every MLB owner have all the facts. That's where we're at right now. Will this save the team? Right. Maybe not yet, uh -huh. but it's a good step in the right direction. Sell the team! Sell the team! Sell the team!